I'm back, just like I promised. Had to go get my Walgreens receipt because I wanted to tell you guys exactly the deals I got on these. So, let me just tell you, my one receipt, I, I just had a couple coupons and I always have a problem with like my coupons coming off that are on my app, even if I've like clicked them. So sometimes if I just have a couple coupons, I will just do those separate than like things that I don't have a coupon on. Because if there's a lot going through, then I don't know if I was supposed to save or not until afterwards. And I do not like to take things back. So I just wanted to show you what I got. So this right here is my, is it on this one? Watch me over here doing that. What is that? That's my Bix Flex. She only put two things on this receipt. Oops, scratch that. We're not doing that one yet. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is my Bic Flex disposable lasers. These are $5.99 normally. Um, let's see here. Oh, wait, did I pay $5.99 for these? There's no way. That was, oh gosh. Okay, anyways. So these are normally $7.99. The Walgreens savings was $2. The return value was $5.99. But to be honest, even though I hate um, returning things, I'm not paying $5.99 for these. So I will be taking them back because that is not what I thought I paid. And she was very confusing anyways. So yeah, I'm going to have to tell her that she has to take these back. I feel bad, but you know what? It's okay. This is what was confusing to her. I was trying to tell her. So this rang up for initially for quite a bit. This was actually only 50 cents. This Crest Pro, Pro Health Sensitivity, six ounces. There was no coupon, nothing. It was just on clearance for 50 cents. So that started confusing her. And so it appears she just went with that. So I do, I'm taking my razors back because at this point with my couponing, $5.99 is way too much for me to pay for that. So I'm taking it back. All right, let's keep it moving. So how much did I pay for my Scott paper towels? Um, well, let me show you. So I did pick up some Suavitel. This is 46 fluid ounces. I absolutely love the smell of Suavitel. It makes my clothes smell amazing. It makes my boys' clothes smell amazing, which is an almost impossible task. So I picked this up, and it is normally um, $3.49, and I saved $1.70, and so this was $1.79, which it is, again, 46 fluid ounces. thought that was a great deal. And so I got that, and then, is that on here? I should be I'm sorry that lady just really confused me with how she did stuff so maybe she did put it on that receipt so I don't even know this this lady was just very confusing anyways I don't know where it's at but I know that I paid three dollars and fifty cents for these Scott paper towels yes three dollars and fifty cents so I was very proud of that so it is six paper towels all right let's get on to the stuff where I know I got the receipt all right, guys, this is Dollar General. This first thing, if you looked on my community page, I cannot wait to show you. So I got this, a thing of Tide with Downy. These right here, Arm & Hammer plus OxyClean. There is how many in here? 14 laundry packs in there. Excuse me. There is this one Glade plug-in, one warmer and one plug-in. Again, amazing to save for my son's new apartment because he loves that kind of stuff. And I picked up this Vix Vapo Drops. And okay, I was like, nope, no, I got something else. And I picked up this of Suavitel 28.7 fluid ounces. So I just want to put it all together so you guys can see all of this stuff. I paid $5.80 for, $1.16 per item. Let me tell you what happened. I, again, I don't use paper coupons. It's way too hard for me. I mean, you see, I can't even find my receipts. So this is um, 37 fluid ounces, 24 loads, the Tide with Downy. You could have gotten any one. This is just the one I wanted. Normally $5.50, and I had a $2 off coupon. And then I also had something, a coupon that was very weird because I had never seen it before, $3 off of any kind of like household items of $15 or more. So I got, like I said, I got this, two, I got $2 off of this plus $1.31 from that. So I actually had $3.31, that's $4.50, $3.34, $35.30. 30. So I paid like $2 for this. Mm -hmm. Amazing deal. And then 
So my next one is my Glade plugin. Like I told you, amazing to give my kids for their apartment. So this was $3.50. I had a $2.50 coupon, which would have made it $1. But then, okay. But with my $3 off 15, they took another 37 cents off. So I paid less than a dollar for this. Yeah, so that was a great deal. This Suavitel um, is normally $3. I had a $2 off coupon, so that left it $1. And then they took another 37 cents off, which left this less than one, like 60 something cents. Yeah, 60 something cents for that. And so our next one are the Vicks Vapor Drops. So these are 20 drops. And these are normally a dollar, but I had a dollar off coupon, so these were free. So they paid me to buy these. Thank you. Thank you for paying me. Sorry, I'm trying to, there is some stuff going on at the neighbors. Um, so they paid me. And then the last item that I showed you guys I got was the Arm & Hammer. So these are normally $3.50. I had a digital coupon for $1, which left them at $2.50. But again, they took off $0.95 cents for my three off of 15 so technically I paid like let's see it's like two dollars off so I paid like 150 for these and all these little things like for my kids when they move to not have to buy like laundry soap and all that kind of stuff that is such a huge help like so they only need to buy buy like the stuff they want versus what they need and so I am putting all of these into a stash for them so again all of these items I got for a total of five dollars and eighty two cents it was an amazing deal. So again, oh, and then let me tell you. So then my total savings were $11.50. I mean, that's like obviously greater than half. Five items, total savings $11.50. And again, I paid $5.82. So, yep, there is that coupon or that receipt. So there's that one. And then let me show you. So I did do two different transactions on that one also. So between my boys and their girlfriends and just all of us, like we drink and we live in Arizona, so we're dying of heat. We drink a lot of drinks, but somehow I went there again and I knew that I wanted to pick up some of these brisks because they were, um, I think buy three, get one free. And so I knew that I wanted to pick some of these up, but when I scanned it, it said that I, I could clip the coupon for buy three, get one free. But also right under it showed that some I had um, spend $15 again, but on like game themed items. So like food and beverage, pretty much if I spent $15, I would get $3 off. So I was like, huh, well, I'm going to spend that much anyway. So why not? So again, I picked up, so I picked up two, something is open. I think, I don't know. So I picked up two of the fruit punch brisk juice drink, one liter. And I picked up two of the strawberry melon brisk iced tea, one liter. And so again, I paid, did, did you, let's see. So for those, the brisks, I paid um, $1 and then, yeah, saved $1. So, um, so anyways, I got three and bought, um, I bought four and got one free. No, I paid for three and got one free. Whatever, Amy, whatever. And then they also had on the Gatorades, buy three get one free so of course I had to buy four Gatorades no I'm sorry it was buy four get one free anyway so I picked up the Gatorades so these are 28 fluid ounces um and so these were a dollar 35 for five of them eat mm, Amy you are a hot mess so I paid a dollar 35 so for four and then got one free so a dollar so that's four dollars three six nine twelve 520 so like 540 for five so I paid like a dollar five I don't know I don't know anyways I thought it was a good deal anything free I'm paying for it so I have no idea sometimes what I'm doing so I did pick these up my husband absolutely loves these and it's hilarious because when we were at um Safeway he was like oh I want to get one of these I'm like I already got you two yeah and he's like don't be lying to me because if not, I need to get them here. And I'm like, I already got them. And these are the Snickers peanut brownie. And you see the clearance tag on it. So I paid, <laughs> give me one second. Let's see here. 
Um, sorry guys, let's see. I, this is a huge receipt because they just had so many good deals. This is a Snickers brownie. I paid 75 cents each. So I bought two of them for $1.50. My husband loves these. So I got those. And then I did pick up this Pure Kick. It has, um, this black cherry pomegranate to me is amazing. And there's six single, there's six pouches to go. Energy, every, I need it all the time. These are normally a dollar there, which is an amazing deal, but they had a 50 cent off coupon. So I paid 50 cents for that. And then here is the Snapple Apple. Um, it's just Snapple drinks. I know I picked up, well, I guess I picked up two of the same. My son was asking for apple juice the other day, but they're so picky. Like I can't remember if it's the concentrate or the not concentrated they don't like. I don't know. So I was like, mm -mm, not going there. So I picked up two of these because these also were on sale and they were um, two for $2 or like one fifty each. So of course I got two of them and I paid a dollar each, which is a good deal. So I got those. Oh, you all like you might frown upon me, but let me just tell you, I found these like a couple weeks ago at like fries or something and they're crown apple. So they're the crown Royal apple, 12 fluid ounces. I got a four pack, a four or six pack of these guys. And it was like $4. And I was like, don't mind if I do. It is really good. Mm -hmm. After a long day, it is even better. So, and then I got, you know, couple of my little five hour energy, energy shots that you guys don't want to see. And then, hold on, I know there's more. I'm sure you guys are like, Amy, get it together before you get on here. But that wouldn't be a real haul. Have you found? Nope, not them. Not them. <laughs> hold on, because I know I have one more bag. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's the one I showed you. I know I have another one. Oh, found it. Okay. Alrighty. So let's keep going. So I found these chic classic coconut delight scented handles. Why the heck do you need a scented handle for? Flex to your curves. I don't know why you would need a scented handle. Whatever. But there's three of them. And this one I did get for two two two. So these, give me a second. I just want you guys to know I am organized, but it is hard to see some of these things on here. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like we're getting closer. Okay, Chic Classic Razor. So the regular price, so this was $4, and I did have a $2 off coupon, so I paid $2, which is an amazing deal. But again, I need more razors and toothpaste, but I need a hole in the head. And it's so funny because under one of my videos, Amy from Bella's Bargain said, I don't mind, um, I don't mind toothpaste for friend mouth. <laughs> don't you worry, you'll be getting it. <laughs> and so I did also have um, a $2 off coupon on two Aussie things, and it is still working on these. So these are $1.30 each, which makes them equal um, $2.60. So I paid 60 cents for both or 30 cents each. And these are the three minute miracle deep conditioner. 50 milliliters. I need these so bad. You can see my hair is a hot mess. So I got those. Then again, I picked these up and these are the canine carryouts, 4.5 ounces. The mini burgers, again, these are a dollar each. So $2. I, I had a coupon for 75 cents off. So I paid $1.25 for both of them. So that's a good deal. My dogs love them. Um, here is, I got this one. These are the Oral-B two pack, two toothbrushes, soft, amazing and again don't think that these won't be going because i have so many toothbrushes don't think that these will not also be going into my son and daughter-in-law's packages when they move to their own apartment because first of all when you're getting an apartment these are not things you think about so then you get there and you're like oh man like let me do that thinking for you so i'll send them with a couple of these just in case so they have some just in case people come to visit whatever so these are normally $3. I had a $2 off coupon, so I did pay only $1 for this, which is an amazing deal. And again, I don't have the money to barely keep my house floating. So having money for my son in college and then having money for my son and daughter-in-law that are going to be moving to um, Houston, that's a lot of pressure. So that is exactly why I will be doing couponing for the next year to make sure that they have what they need. Because as a mom, I feel like I have to do that for them. And you don't have to, but I definitely feel like I need to. Um, 
let me see here this is my last thing but so this was so this is my Colgate Max Fresh and it is 6.0 ounces, normally $2.75. And I did have a $2 off coupon, so I paid 75 cents for that. So guys, I think that's the end. I know there was nothing really interesting. Um, I can't wait to go find like fun things, you know, and all that. But to be honest right now, like I don't even know how people are affording to do fun, th like to find the fun things. Like it's insane with the price of groceries and stuff. So Hopefully this kind of gave you a couple ideas on how to save money. Like I said, I do plan on going to the Dollar Tree this week sometime. So I will definitely be putting that up. But I just can't go as much as I used to because I need to be able to keep food and stuff in my house for my kids. And then again, my middle son lives in LA and he goes to college up there. So every now and then... Um, I place an order for him at the Walmart near his home and then he goes and picks it up like groceries also it's not like other things I once a month I place a grocery order for him so he can go pick it up because he literally pays everything on his own over there like he is just such a go-getter so the least I can do is once a month buy him groceries so again he I pay for it and he goes to the Walmart over there and picks it up and then again with my other son at least I have a year to kind of um catch up on the stuff I need to buy them and I don't need to but you know no mom wants to be like peace out sorry I didn't have the money to give you and so I feel like if I just slowly build stuff up let me tell you they're gonna have enough shampoo conditioner dish soap a laundry soap fabric softener dryer sheets did I say toothpaste because there'll be a lot of toothpaste toothbrushes hand soap deodorants <laughs> Like, I just started this couponing thing maybe a month and a half ago now. And you guys, my husband was like, do you think we could find another spot for this? Like, it's already so much stuff that I literally have to move it out of my hall closet. And so that actually makes me feel so good when I can send my husband a picture of those items. I think I showed him actually in this one. I don't know. Anyways, like the five items and be like, I paid 580 something for this. Because then if I'm not feeling good from the disease I have... I don't feel as bad because I know that I'm still saving and helping my family in whatever way I can. So with that being said, guys, I hope that you got some ideas. Again, I think it was actually in my last video where I told you guys about the Safeway stuff. Let me just tell you real quick. I'm not going to make you go through my $210 grocery haul. Nobody wants to see that, okay? But in my town, I don't hardly ever go to Safeway. When I lived in Sierra Vista, wherever I've ever lived, I don't go to Safeway. It's so expensive. I'm not doing it. I've always gone to Fry's. The past two weeks, guys, I have looked the difference between Fry's and Safeway, and Safeway has kicked Fry's butts. I don't even know what is happening. They are usually so expensive. So, and this is like all good food. So, I just like I told them in my last one, my husband and I got $210 worth of groceries, and we ended up saving $70.35, and we ended up getting 620 fuel points because I some of the items were like four times fuel points, three times fuel points, two times. So in one grocery visit, we got 620 fuel points, which is 60 cents off. That's amazing. Um, $70.35, which is funny because right after that, we went over and filled up my um, Telluride, and it was $70. So I was like, well, well, what we saved, we just put in, but, um, and we spent $210 and you guys, like we picked up items. Like I was saying in my other one, um, of stuff like the meats that we normally would not pick up because they're too expensive, but they had so many of their meats for 30% off. So if you have a chance, a lot of people say it's better to do like, um, the pickups where you just order it online and then go pick it up because then you don't get the desire to grocery shop for more things but when you do that you also don't get to see what items they have on clearance or marked down or anything like that so it's kind of you know so we were like no we are not buying any meat we got some chicken in there and we will make that last because it is so expensive right now but like I was saying in my last video you guys we got bacon wrapped steak I don't eat steak but my family's gonna love it the petite sirloins with bacon wrapped around them three came in a package and we got those for a total of $5.26, which is a good deal. So normally they are $7.51, and 
we saved the $2.25. Um, I'm not going to tell you all the things, but another thing that was the chicken kebabs teriyaki. There was two that came in each package, and they had they were already seasoned. They had the chicken. They have all the little vegetables. Looked amazing. Like literally, we're just going to put them on the grill. And though that price normally they were about ten eighty seven each, and we saved three twenty six, and so we paid seven dollars and sixty one cents. So for both of those, we paid about fifteen dollars, and we saved six dollars. That's a good deal. And the last thing I wanted to tell you guys, oh no, two more things, I'm sorry. One thing is, so they're 73% lean, 17% fats, or 27% fat, Amy, do your math. Hamburger meat was $9.99 for three pounds. But their Genio turkey, ground turkey, was $8.99. It was a dollar less for three pounds for the same exact amounts. It was a dollar less for the healthier meat. Let me just tell you, if I season that upright, my family will never know that it is not hamburger meat. I'm not trying to make turkey patties, but if I put that in some spaghetti or something like that, my family will never know, first of all, that I paid a dollar less, and second of all, that it's healthier than the other thing that was more expensive. And then the last thing I wanted to tell you guys was bacon right now is so expensive, it's not even really in our budget. Like, it's so expensive. So, we picked up two Jimmy Dean Bacons. The regular price would have been $11.98 for the whole thing, for both of them. And we had a coupon for $5. Again, I don't do paper coupons. It's all in their app. I just go through. This is Safeway again. I just go through and I'm like, oh, we might get that. Sometimes I don't ever get it. I just click on it. I'm like, oh, we might get that. Let me just put it in there, you know, um, just in case we do use it. And then when I get in the store, I'm usually pretty good at scanning whatever it is. I mean, I don't have anything from Safeway right here, but I'm usually pretty good. I'll scan the barcode in Safeway on my Safeway app and just make sure that I've already pushed the clip the coupon just to make sure that when I get to the cash register, you know, I already have it clipped. But anyways, so for the bacon, again, it's normally $11.98 for both, which is about $6 each. Get out of here. And so we had a $5 off coupon. And so we paid $6.98 for two full packs of Jimmy Dean bacon. That's like $3.50. And let me tell you, like, that is a good little treat. Because that is about all my kids are getting lately. Because, whoo, that stuff is just so expensive. So, anyways, guys, that's just what I wanted to tell you. Um, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Again, I'm going to have some funner hauls of, like, stuff that I picked up that people aren't like, Amy, we're so tired of seeing your food, groceries, whatever. I promise I'm going to go fun shopping soon. It's just a matter of my husband and I have our mindset on what we want to get paid off before I start doing that. And we haven't paid it off yet. So in the meantime, we're going to be doing groceries, guys. So anyways, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. Also, if you've made it this far, please remember I have a giveaway going on. Once I reach my 4,000 watch hours, I will be doing a $100 cash out Venmo, whatever that is. I will also be doing a huge coffee themed giveaway that I will show you guys the stuff in that. And then I have a $15 Dollar Tree gift card because that is kind of where I got my start. And so I really just wanted to incorporate Dollar Tree in some way. And so just please remember that I have that going on. And so once I reach my 4,000, I will let you guys know and we will be doing that giveaway. All right, guys, I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.